Chapter 14 Exiting the Valley, Rumble Amidst the lightning and thunder, torrential rain poured down. In the wicked valley, more than 3,000 wicked people were scattered, but their eyes kept staring at the entrance of the cave, each one of them filled with anticipation, as that was the hope of all of them. Guhai stood at the entrance of the cave. In front of him stood four people, Gao Xianzi, Chen Chunchen, Scar and Shangguan Trace, the four ministers. My lord, it's been interrogated clearly. He has said everything that should be said. This mask of ours can indeed only be undone by Gang Master Li Wei. Scar's face was ugly and said, Darf and Gang Terrain are all interrogated clearly, right? Gu Hai said in a deep voice. Yes, it's all been interrogated clearly. Big Feng Gang is divided into three areas. The Inner Gang area, the Gambling area, and the VIP area. The VIP area is for gamblers to come and live and consume. There are all sorts of exotic shops and services. The Gambling area is the Colosseum and some other gambling stuff. The Inner Gang area is where the disciples of the Dafeng Gang reside, Chen Chongchen solemnly said. If you want to undo the mask, you have to have the Great Abundance Gang Leader's hand to do it. My lord, can you have the Great Abundance Gang Leader's hand? Gao Xianzi looked towards Gu Hai. Scar, however, looked at Gao Xianzi in shock. How could this be possible? Is the other Li Wei a fool? Gu Hai was silent for a while. I need to go and poke around carefully to find out. Probing, my lord, you want to go out first, Gao Xianzi said unexpectedly. Not bad. I need to go out and meet Li Wei first before I can do that. I need some of you to be able to cooperate with me. Gu Hai solemnly said. Cooperate. Is it to wear the clothes of the black-robed man just now? Pretend to be that whip-wielding black-robed man and escort your lord out of the valley. Gao Xianzi's eyes lit up. My lord, I'll do it. I can. Scar immediately called out. Being able to go out. Scar was naturally unwilling to stay in the evil man valley. I'll go, my lord, I'll go. Chen Chunchen also volunteered to help. On the side, Shangguan Scar, however, suddenly pinched his throat. My lord, it's better for me to go. Huh. The crowd steeply looked at Shangguan Trace together. Because Shangguan Trace's voice changed, at this moment actually simulated the voice of the black-robed man with the whip. Actually exactly the same. Shangwen Scar, that's a good skill. Gu Hai laughed. Minor measurement, your honor is laughing. Shangwen Trace said respectfully. Good, just Shangwen Trace. Go and put on the clothes of that whip-wielding black-robed man. Gu Hai commanded. Yes, Shangwen Trace quickly walked into the cave. Gu Hai looked at Shangwen Trace and his eyes narrowed slightly. Those who were able to live until now were not idle. At this moment, they did not know enough about the group of villains. Gu Hai was using people at this moment, and likewise preventing them. Soon, Shangguan Trace walked out wearing a black robe and holding a long whip, slowly putting on his hat. Snap! Go! Shangguan Trace let out a loud shout, learning the previous black-robed man's arrogance to the fullest. Not bad. Gu Hai nodded. Gu Hai gave a slight explanation, then slowly walked towards the mouth of the valley with Shang Wen Trace. At the mouth of the valley, in front of the blue light film. Assholes, are you still neglecting your duties? Shang Wen Trace let out a loud shout. Boom. The sound instantly reached the outside of the valley. The guards outside the valley were sheltering from the rain and enjoying themselves at the same time. When they suddenly heard the loud shout, all of their faces changed and quickly rushed out. Ah, it's the Colosseum senior brother. Why are you in the wicked valley? A guard immediately smiled apologetically. How am I in the evil man valley? How did I get in? Do you want me to report to the gang master or to let the gang master know how you neglected your duties and let me enter and exit without knowing about it all? Shangguan Trace sneered. Ah, don't dare, don't dare, senior brother forgive me. That guard immediately had cold sweat coming out of his forehead. All right, 
and no more nonsense. Rainy day. Let me take this villain out. Gangmaster wants to see him. Quick, Shangguan Trace said in a deep voice. Ah, yes, okay. How would the guards dare to stop them? They immediately opened the blue light film. Shangguan Trace escorted Gu Hai and slowly walked out of the valley. Senior brother, although I can hear that it's your voice, but the rules of the wicked valley, to take a wicked person away, you need a warrant, don't you? The guard immediately stepped forward and whispered, Ha ha, it's already good that I didn't sue you for negligence. Warrant, the gang master's oracle is a warrant, you don't believe it. You can all, go with me to the gang master's place and ask. Shang Wen Trace looked at the guard with a cold smile. Don't dare, don't dare, senior brother, you please, you please. The guard immediately didn't dare to talk too much. Shang Wen Trace didn't bother to speak, but escorted Gu Hai and slowly disappeared in front of the group of guards. Bah, what the hell, holding the gang master over me. The previous guards immediately spat in the direction Shang Wen Trace left. Following that, several guards once again returned to their respective warm nests. Shang Wen Trace escorted Gu Hai out and found a remote place. Gu Hai took out a black robe from the small space of the token and wore it. But the style wasn't quite the same as Shang Wan Trace's, but it ultimately covered the head mask. My lord, where do we go first? Shang Wan Trace asked. To the blacksmith shop in the VIP area, Gu Hai said as he got dressed. Yes, Shang Wan Trace answered. On a rainy day, with a hat to protect from the rain, all the way through, but no one stopped them. The guards of the Dafeng Gang were not strict, and it was even easier to travel through on a rainy day. Soon, the duo came above a street. My lord, this is the one, tortured out earlier. This is the best blacksmith shop. Casting some weapons, but the engraved formations aren't very good, Shang Wen Trace explained. Gu Hai nodded. But, my lord, what are we doing here at the blacksmith shop? If you want to buy any weapons or magic treasures, they are available in the surrounding shops. Shang Wen Trace was curious. What I want, which is definitely not there, is to help us unseal the seal, Gu Hai said in a deep voice. Oh, Shang Wen Trace's compaction stared. To unseal the seal, that would mean generating a strong electric current. There were quite a few magic treasures of all attributes under the sky. But there were far fewer electric magic treasures, because that kind of magic treasure, there were a few people who would refine it. But nowadays, a small blacksmith shop can be refined. On a rainy day, there wasn't much business at the blacksmith shop, and the duo quickly found a few blacksmiths. Gu Hai took out a dozen or so drawings. The group of blacksmiths and Shang Wen Scar looked at the drawings for a while in confusion. Master. What are you doing here? Copper pipes, one after another. What's the use of this? This chains, we have quite a few of them. But this thing, what can it do? The blacksmith said blankly. Shang Wen Scar was also speechless as he looked at the drawing, one pipe after another. Couldn't see what's going on. Is this thing useful? You guys don't care how it works. Can you refine it? Gu Hai asked. Of course. How can this thing not be refined? Isn't it just one copper pipe after another? It's not like we need to burn an array. Two days. Two days to get it done. The blacksmith immediately patted his chest and said, I'll give you three times the wages. Refine them in the order of the paper. Gu Hai said in a deep voice. One day. Guaranteed. The blacksmith immediately shouted. Gu Hai nodded. Shang Wen Trace looked at the drawings with an odd expression. Shang Wen Trace had also seen the world. He just didn't want to say it to people, but it was just that he had never been able to see through the Gu Hai in front of him. This drawing's in front of him. It could refine electricity magic treasures. What kind of joke is this? My lord, what do we do now? Shang Wen Trace said with a hint of complexity. You stay here and supervise the forging of the drawings. There must not be the slightest mistake, Gu Hai said in a deep voice. Huh, Shang Wen Trace was slightly stunned. I will come to you soon. 
You know the importance of this thing, right? Gu Hai said in a deep voice. Shang Wen Trace's eyes shifted for a while before he finally nodded. Gu Hai took out the spirit stone and handed it to Shang Wen Trace and left alone. Looking at Gu Hai's rainy back, his expression was complicated for a while. Because Shang Wen Trace could feel that Gu Hai did not seem to completely trust himself, as if he was testing himself. Soon, Gu Hai once again found a blacksmith shop and gave the same drawings, ranging the order of forging in case Shang Wen Trace had a change of heart. Following that, Gu Hai wandered into another shop. Objective, what do you want? The shop owner politely said. Fire oil, the more the better. Gu Hai said in a deep voice. Kerosene, master, what do you need kerosene for? The shop owner said blankly. Do you want me to tell you who's in the house and what you've eaten today as well? Gu Hai said indifferently. Huh, no, 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 I'm talking too much, okay. Kerosene. We have as much as we want here. The shop owner immediately smiled. The moment he bought a large amount of fire oil and put it into the small space. The shop owner was shocked, after all. Cultivators who can have a small space, their strength is usually not low. Just now he was really looking for death. After doing everything, Gu Hai slowly walked towards the inner area of the Dafeng Gang. Looking around and picking a dense mountainous place, Gu Hai looked around and slowly took out the fire oil from his token small space. Wow! Along the perimeter of the mountain forest, Gu Hai began to pour the fire oil up, pouring all the way along. In the blink of an eye, the countless amounts of kerosene that Gu Hai had bought finished going around the entire mountain. Looking at the area within the Dafeng Ang in the distance, Gu Hai's eyes narrowed. Rub. A fire refractor rubbed out a flame and threw it into the forest. Boom. Steeply a big fire quickly burned along the foot of the mountain towards the mountain. In the dense forest, in a flash, the fire rose up. Even with the heavy rain, it could not block the burning of the kerosene. Countless leaves, but also very wet, resulting in a lot of places to burn are not burned through. So as to produce a greater smoke, a time, the smoke rolled, rushed in all directions. The fire was getting bigger and bigger, and the smoke was getting thicker and thicker. It's not good, it's on fire, steeply, someone shouted. What? It's on fire. It's raining so heavily. How could it be on fire? There were clatters, at once. The Great Abundance Gang was in chaos, and many Great Abundance Gang disciples came in and out coming to extinguish the fire. What a big smoke, choking me to death. Cough, cough, cough. Quickly extinguish the fire. Extinguish this smoke. Cough, cough, cough. In the midst of the chaos, many of the Dafeng Gang disciples continued to pounce on the fire. Gu Hai, however, took advantage of the large number of people and walked towards the depths of the Great Abundance. Gang. In the distance, the flames were more and more rushing up to the sky, coloring that piece of sky red, rolling thick smoke, quickly diffusing in all directions of the Great Abundance Gang in general. In the blacksmith shop, Shang Wen Trey stared at the smoke in the distance. This is the fire set by the adults. What a big smoke. This VIP area is rolling in smoke. The disciples of the Dafeng Ang were alarmed. They all walked out of their respective residences to look at the sudden fire. At the entrance of a large hall, Gang Master Li Wei was holding Yu Yo in his arms, his eyes showing cold light as he looked at the fire in the distance. Find out for me, who dares to come to my Dafeng Gang to act recklessly, Gang Master Li Wei said with a glare in his eyes.